Uh, these are the floats, and this is inside of the carb. Okay. So this one, when these floats right here, see those? When they hang down, gas will come in here. And once it drains in, you can kind of see the pin in here. I'll take it apart in a second. When it fills up enough, it's going to stop the gas flow. There's going to be gas sitting in the bottom of here. That's where this jet and this jet come into play. This is a needle jet. So the needle comes down inside the top and it actually seats inside this jet. You can change this jet out. The best thing to do is go to the store, um, take in the jet that's inside here. I'll take that out in a second. And the jet that's then this jet, usually just use your wrenches. Undo that, you will actually see a stamped number on the side of the jet. You're gonna to wanna to take that jet in, say, hey, I'm at this elevation, I bought this motorcycle, it could have been at sea level, wherever you bought it. Um, I need it jetted for Colorado's altitude. Um, the jet that was in here, I've actually already replaced it, I'm gonna show it to you, was in uh, a 3.0 jet. And it was made by Makuni, had a little symbol on it. I've got this now jetted for a 27.5. So the 30 jet, it was too rich of a mix, wouldn't stay running, bogged it out. Uh, I didn't have to change this jet out. A lot of times you can do it just by adjusting the little C-clamp up and down. Usually there's three positions. Some of them have five. It kind of depends. Um, and what you're going to want to do is close the choke when you start it. it. will not allow air to go through. Give it a rich mix. Once it gets warmed up, open the choke. Then it's going to, that, that's when you're really going to balance the idling on it. Because then you're going to adjust your screw, your two screws, air and uh, throttle. So I will show you how this works. There's a little pin right here. If I can get it out. We'll tackle the floats first. Okay. So this pin comes out. There's your floats. A lot of times, eh, well, it used to be, they used to make them cork. What happens with cork, they get waterlogged, they never want to float, and then it always overflows. This is your pin. So when this gets pushed inside here, like that, it stops the flow of gas. When it hangs down, gas flows out. So this tab will push on that and when it pushes up, it closes it. When it releases it and it comes down, it allows the flow of gas to come in there. So these, the best thing to do, you'll have to clean these sometimes, clean inside here. If you get bad gas buildup, I've seen it where these stick and it, the floats are fine. It's just this little pin is sticking. So make sure that moves pretty good. We'll put this back on. There we go. Okay, there's your floats. Another gasket. Sometimes, like I said, they're cork. Could be made of a different material. I haven't had a ton of luck with um, liquid gaskets on gas. They have to be made for uh, for petrol, but for gas. But usually, I haven't had a lot of luck with them. It's always good when they have a rubber gasket inside of them. So, again, that's your needle jet. This is going to be the jet we're going to change. Okay. This. See what has a flat head on it. flathead screwdriver and you would unscrew it then holding the floats flip it upside down that's what it looks like um, another trick to these things if it is the correct size and they're taking air compressor with a spray nozzle chuck and actually blast this with air get a good hold on it don't, don't shoot it across the room make sure you can see through it make sure all those holes are clear like you said, this is a 3.0 jet. This is a 27.5. So I'm gonna need to run this at a leaner mixture because we're up here in the mountains. So if you ever order a carburetor, let's say you're at sea level, you order one from Colorado, save your jets from your carb. Vice versa, you order one from sea level, you're at the mountains, pull your jets out of your old one as long as you match it up, drop it in the new one. Most motorcycle shops are really good about carrying whatever jet you need. I've 
pretty much always come across the jets that I need. Uh, biggest thing to do when you go in, tell them what kind of jet it is, go to your engine, see what size, and then from pretty much from that you can tell them everything that's going on. Like this is a 140cc with a Makuni carb. Um, I actually brought this into them and I had the jets in my hand and I told them what I needed. They had a smaller size and uh, was in and out of the door. I had the jet for five bucks. So this is actually rebuilt now. Now we're going to put everything back together. Also, all of your fittings in your carb are brass. Very soft metal. You don't want to strip those. Be careful when tightening. Also, you'll see when you see it brass and aluminum mixed, they've usually pressed it. So don't force it. If it doesn't unthread, don't try to pull it out. Chances are you're not going to get it reseated and you're going to ruin the carb is usually what happens. So, let's start this. This is idling pretty good. You'll see in it'll raise up the slide and then if I were to lower it down by backing it out see how it'll stall it out so the floats are working it's not overflowing Basically how this works, that's a choke. So if you close your choke, it closes off the airflow. When you have it open, it's an open choke. So let me put that back on. And again, by me putting my hand over it is also dampening down air. And that's how you can cause it to stall as well.